Hello and welcome. Let's talk about the bubble sort algorithm in Python and how you can implement it. As its name suggests, bubble sort works in a way that is very similar to how bubbles rise, because the elements move to their correct position in a sequence. Bubble sort is a sorting algorithm, and sorting just means that it will take a sequence and it will sort it, it will put all the elements in a specific order, and that will be the result. In this case, bubble sort will sort the sequence in ascending order. So we might take a list like this one in Python with no particular order and transform it into a list like this one. Right here, we have it in increasing order where we have the smallest element as the first element of the list and the greatest or largest element as the last element of the list. You do have to be careful when you apply this algorithm in Python because it mutates the list. That just means that it changes the original list in memory because it doesn't create a copy. Let's see a visual example of bubble sort. This is our initial list. It's not sorted in any particular order, okay? We have these elements 1, 8, 5, 2, and 0. Let's see what the algorithm will do. First, it will take the first pair of elements 1 and 8. These elements are already in order, so they will be kept intact initially. Then it will go to the second pair of numbers, 8 and 5. Are these elements in the correct order? They are not. 5 is less than 8. So what are we going to do? We are going to swap them. Now 5 is the second number in the list and 8 is the third number. Now 8 and 2. Are they in the correct order? They are not because 2 is less than 8. So what do we do? We swap them. Now we get 2 and 8. And 8 is now the fourth element, so it's sort of like floating to the right until it reaches its correct position in the list. And finally, we have our fourth pair of elements, 8 and 0. These are not in the correct order either, so we swap them. Now 8 is in the correct position in the list. We will repeat the sequence of walkthroughs through the list once per element. Now we have to start the process again. We start with the first pair of numbers, 1 and 5. These are already in the correct order, so we go to the second pair. Is 5 less than 2? It's not, so we swap them. 2, now it's less than 5, so we have the correct order in this pair. Then we go to the third pair, 5 and 0. We have to swap them, so we have 0 and 5. And now 5 is in the correct position in the list. Awesome, we have two numbers sorted and we made two runs through the list, 5 and 8. Now we go to our third walkthrough through the list. We have the numbers 1, 2, and 0 left to sort. We start with the first pair, 1 and 2. These are intact, so there's actually nothing that we have to do right now. The second pair of numbers is 2 and 0. In that case, we do need to swap these numbers. So we get this right here. Now we have 1, 0, and 2. The number 2 is at the correct position right now. We already sorted 2, 5, and 8. And we have these two numbers left to place at the correct position. We only need to swap them. We start the process again and we swap them. And now the process has been completed because the list is sorted. Some implementations of the algorithm will go through the entire list once per element. And others will be more optimized and they will detect when the list is already sorted so you don't have to continue the process. Okay? Awesome. So let's start diving into the Python implementation of bubble sort. Let's see how you can write the code. But first, before we start writing the code, take a moment to think about how you would implement this process in Python. I will give you a small hint. It has nested loops, okay? Think about it for a moment and then come back so we can start writing the code. We're going to implement this algorithm as a function. And when we call the function, we're going to mutate the list. The first thing that we have to do is to write the function header, the first line. We write the keyword def and then the name of the function. In this case, we're going to name this bubble sort. And in Python, by convention, we separate words with an underscore. Then we have to define the parameters of the function. Think about this for a moment. What parameter or parameters should we add to this function? Pause the video and then come back. We have to define only one parameter which is the sequence. We have to know the sequence that we are going to sort. In this case, it would be the list. 
Since list should not be used as a parameter of variable name in Python, we can use this abbreviation of sequence for the parameter. Okay, so now we have to start analyzing what is going to happen with the code. What do we want to do? We want to do something for every single element in that sequence. We want to go through the list and swap the necessary elements. We're going to do that once for each element in the sequence. So how can we do that? We just write a for loop. And how many times will that for loop iterate? How many iterations will we have? Well, we can have one iteration per element. This is the basic implementation. We can have one iteration per element. So what is that going to do for us? We are going to go through the list once per element, okay? After that, what do we want to do each time we go through the list? Well, we want to determine which pairs of values have to be swapped. And for that, we are going to write a nested loop. How many times do we want to compare the pairs, the elements? Compare the pairs of elements that are not sorted yet and swap if necessary. Okay, we're going to go through the list, compare each pair of elements, but we're only going to compare those that are not sorted yet. If we know that we have, for example, five elements that we've already sorted at the end of the list, then we don't have to go through those elements again. And for that, we have to use this as the end parameter. The length of the sequence minus i minus 1. Okay? By subtracting this value, the value of the loop variable i, we are going to decrement the number of comparisons that we make. i will represent, let's add it right here as a comment, i represents the number of elements that are already sorted, that means that they are in the correct position or the correct spot in the list, okay? So initially, i will be zero. There will be zero numbers that are already sorted or elements. Then that will be incremented to one once we already sort one element at the end of the list, and it will be incremented, right? So when we subtract i, we will have the number of elements that are left to sort in the list. And by subtracting 1, we are not going to reach the last element in the list because we have to consider the last pair. We don't want to consider the last element. We want to reach the element that is before the last element in the list. We will see this in more detail in just a moment. Let's just compare this. If the sequence at index j, if the element at the current index is greater than the element that comes after it, so if we are analyzing a specific pair of values and we compare them and they are not in the correct order, so the element to the left is greater than the element to the right, then we have to swap them. And how can we swap them in Python? We use a really cool feature called tuple assignment. We write this, the two elements that we want to replace separated by a comma and right here at the other side of the assignment statement, we write the values that we want to assign, like this. We are just swapping the elements. Let's add comments right here. We say, if the elements are not in order already, then swap them. That is what we do with this line that we have right here. Awesome. That is the implementation of bubble sort. Let's go through it one more time so we can see the details. We have bubble sort, we take the sequence, and right now we are going to go through the list once per element. The value of i, the loop variable, will represent the number of elements that are already sorted. Remember that in the previous example, we sorted the list one element at a time. The numbers sort of floated like bubbles to the end of the list and they were placed in the correct position. So that is what the value of i represents. Then for each one of those walkthroughs that we make through the list, we compare the pairs of elements that are not sorted yet, and we swap them if it's necessary. That is what we are doing right here. We are going through the list, taking each pair of elements, that is why we are subtracting i to decrement the number of elements, the number of pairs that we have to verify, 
and we subtract 1 because notice right here that we are taking the current element and the element that goes after it. So right here we cannot include the index of the last element in the sequence because there wouldn't be a next element, this would not exist. We have to reach the previous element and then compare it to the last element in the list. And then for each one of the pairs, the elements, we compare them if they are in order. If they are not, then we have to swap them. And that is basically how bubble sort works. Let's delete these comments so we can have more concise code and you can see the full implementation in detail. We're going to define a sequence, my list, and it's going to have these numbers 1, 8, 5, 2, and 0, the elements that we worked with during the graphical example. Now we're going to apply the bubble sort algorithm to the sequence by calling the bubble sort function. And we say bubble sort and we pass my list as the argument. The function doesn't return any values, it just mutates the list. Right here, we are mutating the list when we swap the elements. So my list will be changed in memory. To check the output, we can write two print statements, one before we call the function and another one after we call the function. So let's save the file and run the code. And right here, we can see that it works correctly. Previously, we have an unsorted list with no particular order with these elements and after we apply the bubble sort algorithm, the same list is now sorted in increasing order. Awesome, so now you know how to implement bubble sort in Python. Thank you for watching my video. Like, subscribe and check out my other videos linked right here. I will see you there.